in the previous session we had discussed uh, how to OTK background job in this session uh, uh, let us discuss how to create a background job so in order to create a background job issue a t code sm36 here you have to enter a job name name of the job which is so i'll give sap job okay 200 just here job class we have discussed so which is a job class i take it as a middle priority of the job okay now so by default the job will be in schedule status like based on uh, um, your your action if you scheduled it immediately then then if you scheduled it for tomorrow then the according to that the status of the job will be um, changed so execution target server if you left this option as a blank in whichever the application server uh, the background jobs are running which application server is, which is having a free background resources and the load is less so on that application server the background job runs okay now i'll go to the click on step so here uh, the step user always you have to enter system user it is better to add a system user of course even for dialog user also background job runs however whenever the dialog users uh, locked or the, uh, like a uh, dialog user expired or when the uh, when a particular user left the company or a project then background jobs start failing in order to avoid that we have to always we have to always put a system user over here okay so next either you are you are trying to uh, schedule a uh, background job as a ABAP program here it is using a ABAP program it runs or you are uh, trying to run as external command using some uh, operating system level commands or external program. In this uh, example, let us take a ABAP program. Okay, here we have to provide a uh, program name. So I will provide the program name RSP0041. Uh, this is a program which deletes the old SPOOL requests. Old SPOOL request. And the variant, uh, so if, if you have a variant, you can provide a variant. Variant is a one which provides uh, input values or selection criteria during a uh, run time, okay? In this example, I'm not giving any variant, okay? Then click on check, save, okay? So I'll come back. Now I'm, I'm, I'm triggering this job immediately. Click on immediate, check, save. Then click on save. Okay, job SAP job 200 saved with the status released. So in order to monitor this job, we have to go to SM37. Then enter here. Then username I'll put it as a star. So by this time the job might have completed or might have cancelled. So I'll select all the statuses. I remove the date. Then execute. See here the job has been completed. Job. Job started. Since we have triggered this job immediately, the job has been completed. Let us schedule one more job. Uh, which has to run daily, which has to run daily. So how to schedule a background job? Again, I will go to SM36, then uh, SAP job 300, then job class I'll leave as it is, go to step. You can enter uh, the system user, which you had created before. Then I'll give a one program name. Mm. Here. Then click on check, click on save. Oh, let me give a program name and variant. Then I'll come back, click on the start condition. Instead of immediate, I'll, I'll select a date. I want to run this job tomorrow onwards. So I'll select the date uh, tomorrow. So what I will do tomorrow, Monday, I'll select 
13th and select the time it eight o'clock check and so this is if you, if you have not given any period values tomorrow only once this job background uh, this job may uh, trigger and uh, finishes however you want to run this job daily then select a period values then click on a period values i want to put daily check save then click on check start date is in the past okay so it has to be then check two thousand twenty two yeah check save then again you click on save okay you got a confirmation job sap job 300 saved with the status released then select the job then i'll go back sm37 here enter in, in the place of job name enter sap job 300 in the basis 8 i'll put the username as a star i remove the date I'll remove the date and time. Execute. Here, SAP job 300, which is in release status, which is going to run tomorrow onwards, every day at 8, 8, 8, 8 o'clock. That's it. In this video, we learned how to schedule a background job. In the next video, we'll, we'll try to learn how to uh, kill a background job. Thank you.